have a Ubuntu VM ready 24.1 and if I go to settings uh, if you go to the system network I have one NAT adapter already let me add one more adapter and I, I will select host only present only one adapter is there I am selecting that one from issues mode I am keeping all hello all so that both the host machine and uh, other VMs can connect to that if you want you can regenerate this mac id and click ok now uh, let me start the video it's powering on and it's a ubuntu server machine so there will be no desktop environment inside the VM. It's running. It is starting now. screen is visible now the username is os boxes password is os boxes dot org how i created this vm you can uh, check in ubuntu machine creation from os boxes disk video in my channel so when i type ip space s space s it will show the ip addresses you can see the first one is the loopback address Second one is the NAT adapter. It got IP address of 10.0.2.15. But the third one, I'm not sure whether you are able to see the font or not properly. It's showing uh, straight down and there is no IP address also. The adapter is ENP0 estate. So there may be multiple reasons. One is as I'm not getting IP address either. I need to cross check whether uh, click on these tools and click on file or network properties or anything or when you click on these tools it will come directly in the NAT networks, cloud networks, host only networks is there in this network see whether DHCP is enabled or not when you double click that you can see I it doesn't matter whether you kept manually or adapter but Somehow, if you kept automatically, it is from this IP address range you should check and it is showing 169 series, right? 192, 168 So it's not, IPv4 address is also not proper Let me remove this and create a new network again created 192.168.195 series and adapter it should manually no problem enable the DHCP so it should pick the second address from this network and set like this so click apply yeah now this network adapter is there right? come to this and see whether uh, this adapter is properly selected or not now still ipas uh, and once you done this configuration you need to disconnect it reconnect still it is not getting the ip address the next thing we can do is uh, uh, whether it is os configuration my issue might be the virtual box said it is perfect but from OS, uh, the IP address is not coming. sudo ls slash utc netplan. See, in the netplan folder, uh, there is one 
uh, YAML file which describes the configuration of this uh, VM. So let me zoom in the resolution view boosting right control F is it scale more can you see at least you can see the font at the other side in scroll mode somewhat better sudo so what is the issue i am telling is ip space a spaces you see the second adapter it is not getting ip address and even the state is also showing as down the enp has cheered so ls slash etc the folder there is one 50 folder open this nano is not there so let me open in vi j is also not there same okay it's clean os completely so sudo apt install hyphen y nano anyway the internet comes from nat adapter that is already enabled so we can install these packages up there up there nano okay error reading it config permission error so keep sudo in front of it if you observe here uh, control x IPAS. What is the adapter name? ENP zero S eight. That entry is not there. Exactly under this. So we are telling the IP address is there, getting from DHCP. And this adapter should be loaded. IPS. Uh, it, we need to reload the script. So sudo net plan apply. Maybe a reboot should work. Let me install Vim also to see whether the YAML file is properly configured or not. Let me show. This is good only. Sudo app install net type and tools. So that I can use I IF config. ENP0 is still not loaded. Let me reboot the machine. Sudo reboot.
stop it at network device. Let me keep uh, okay. I didn't do anything. OS boxes. OS boxes. Dot org. Then the adapter didn't came. Right letters. Net six is there, and it is not there. So let me set it automatic. ENT zero is set. ENT zero is set. This is good then by it is let me create a new adapter. And this time uh, I'll enable this one forty one one. Select this adapter. And now it is coming one ninety two, one sixty eight, one forty one three. Some issue with that. Uh, Previous adapter somehow, but somehow it is coming now. Type IF config. Yeah, so with the when I create the second adapter, that one is working. Let's cross check. The type of address is gone now. It came again. Yeah. Once I detach and reattach, this also working now. Anyway, let's remove this. It's unnecessary to keep two adapters. And let's keep the default one like this only. And let me properties. Second one 
Let's select this. One forty one three. Now it error. Now one more thing. Let me connect to terminal or CMD. Sure. SSH show like this. If not, you need to go to optional features. Optional features.exe and uh, not here. Go to settings. Apps. Add again settings. Search for uh, SSH. Install apps. By default, in Windows 11, it is there. In Windows 10, you will get an option to add optional feature. One option here. Uh, there, you will get option to install OpenSSH client. Install that. Uh, but on this server machine, uh, now you type SSH icon. Uh, OS boxes is the username and what is the IP address 192.168.141.3 connection left is right so I need to install this application sudo apt install icon y open ssh icon server Then once the SSH server is running on the Ubuntu machine, you can connect from uh, uh, SSH client from Windows to that machine. Now you see, just type us and type the password. CLAR will clear the screen. Now it is connected. IF config. You can see. You can shut down that machine. Sudo shut down. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video.